Hey what's going on guys, my name is CarQ and welcome back to another segment of the Predator Training Room. I know that a lot of players always hear the term game sense and that they have to improve their game sense in order to get better at Overwatch. So today I'm going to do my best to explain to you with concrete examples what game sense is and how to get better at it. Let's get started. Game sense is the awareness and understanding of the current state of the game in the current moment. Having good game sense heavily ties into your decision making and helps you make the best possible decision given the current circumstances. Game sense is often a very vague term for newer players because it embodies so much and working on your game sense requires improvement in a lot of criteria. So let's go over a few right now that in my opinion is the core of having good game sense. The first is that game sense is being aware of how many people are alive on both teams. Improving your game sense in this domain is actually quite easy because all this basically entails is tracking the kill feed. The best way to do this right now in my opinion is to turn on a colorblind option to make your team's color stand out more so it's easier to catch in your peripheral vision. Make it a habit to quickly glance at it in the middle of hectic team fights to assess whether you're at a 5 versus 2 advantage or perhaps you lost some teammates and you're at a 3 versus 6 disadvantage. You know, knowing the current state of who's alive can determine whether you want to invest more abilities in ultimates or to just save them for a future fight. Now another criteria of game sense is tracking ultimate and ability usage and cooldowns on the enemy and predicting what's going to be used next. One of the best ways to improve your decision making is to both consciously track enemy ultimate usage and cooldowns. If you watch some of the higher ranked streamers who verbally call out ability usage to their team, it can significantly affect how the team proceeds to attack the map. An example is to call out what the enemy team used in the previous fight, saying, okay, they used EMP and Earth Shatter last fight but didn't grab, so in this upcoming fight they'll probably use it, so please protect our Zenyatta so we have a transcendence for it. Now let's say you're playing D.Va in the example I just listed. Having good game sense and understanding of the state of the ultimate usage in the game will change your playstyle. Now, you're going to be looking to either matrix the grab or play more defensively so you can matrix and peel for your Zenyatta to ensure he doesn't die too early. A D.Va with no game sense may just blindly play without giving much thought into what may happen next. You can have the greatest D.Va mechanics, tracking, and D.Va bomb spots in the world, but if you have no game sense in this domain, you can see why players get stuck and find themselves unable to climb. Game sense is also understanding where your team is currently positioned, where the enemy is currently positioned, and where to engage or retreat or commit. This is a big one for all my mobile DPS players out there. You can have the greatest Genji, Doomfist, or Tracer mechanics in the world, but you need to have the game sense or understanding of where your team is playing relative to your position and where the enemies are playing as well. There are times where I find myself playing Ana and looking to nano boost my Genji for the Dragon Blade combo, but he decides to dash too far behind the wall and pull out his Dragon Blade, die, and then blame me for not nanoing him. Oh, you're over the wall. There's also the big issue of main tanks, such as Winston's engaging too far too fast and then blaming their team for not following up. The takeaway point here for game sense is to decide where to engage, commit, or retreat depending on where your team is currently positioned and where the enemy is positioned. Now, game sense is also understanding the map layout, sight lines, and what positions would make you a threat or make you vulnerable. A big part of Overwatch is high ground control, of course, and having an understanding of the map layout and areas that would make you a threat or put you in a vulnerable spot is a big part of game sense. An easy concrete example of this is if the enemy team is attacking second point Hanamura with GOAT's comp of Ryan, Zarya, D.Va, Lucio, Brig, and Mora, if I'm a defensive Ana player and I position myself here by my spawn up these little stairs, my decision here puts me at a vulnerable position by all six of them because I can be rushed down very easily by their composition. If I had the game sense understanding that this is the enemy composition, I would much rather put myself up on high ground because instead of the whole team being able to potentially threaten me, now only D.Va has a chance to fly at me and potentially Lucio climbing up, and those are the only threats. I've effectively reduced my risk based on my positioning simply because I understood what the enemy team was trying to achieve with their composition and acted accordingly. Now there are probably a lot more domains and examples of areas you can improve on under game sense, but I think those four encompass a big portion of it, and I want to move on to exactly how you can improve your game sense, generally speaking. Now since game sense is the understanding of the current state of the game, the best way I believe you can improve is to verbally say everything out loud, whether it's to your team or to yourself. Verbally call out what ultimates and abilities enemies used and what's on cooldown, verbalize to yourself where you're going to position and why you want to position there, and commentate. If you die, ask yourself why you died there, and how to stop it from happening again. 
why do you want to flank here, etc, etc. This is what I call conscious thinking and saying things out loud like this will stop yourself from making as many mistakes and will actively improve your decision making. In your head you may think, oh I want to do this crazy flank zenyatta play, but if you verbalize and say it out loud, it may go something like, I know I have transcendence, but I really want to flank this poorly positioned enemy Ana. But since you said it out loud, you may catch yourself in the act and say, wait a minute, I have transcendence. They might use Graviton Surge this fight because they haven't used it in the last two fights. Instead of flanking this Ana, I should probably stay with my team so I can use the transcendence defensively for my team. As you can see, verbalizing everything out loud stops you from going through the motions and just autopiloting. There are times where you're tilted and you're not thinking clearly and this verbal self-talk can help calm you down and focus. Eventually, once you become very good at this game sense, it can sort of become a sixth sense and you can just do this all in your head. But until then, please verbalize, commentate, and call things out. If you consciously and deliberately work on your game sense, you'll stop yourself from autopiloting and improve in Overwatch a lot faster. I'm Karki with the Predator Training Room. Until next time.